Okay, so um, I've been asked to do a video on integration by parts. Um, now, just to say before um, I get into it, that integration by parts is uh, not on the Liebensert syllabus anymore. Um, but that does not mean that you can't get a question where you have to use integration by parts. But if they do give you a question um, where you have to use integration by parts, they will build into it and give you some sort of scaffolding and basically like they'll give you a part A and a part B and the two of them together will uh, combine to give you the integration by parts formula. So they're not going to just land you with an integration by parts question and um, they will scaffold you there in some way. So um, it probably is beneficial to know um, what integration by parts is but it's definitely not necessary um, to know it uh, really well in order to be able to do any integration by parts question. Um, so I've picked out uh, just a few questions. Um, I have uh, four examples here that uh, are integration by parts. And um, to, just to show you the formula, this is the formula. So this is what appears in your log tables. Um, so the integral of u dv, uh, what we do is we split it up and we say u times v is minus the integral of v du. So you'll have um, two parts to every integration by parts and you have to choose one part to be u and the other part to be db. Now in order to do that which part is u and which part is db we use li8. This is an ac acronym for logs, inverse trig, algebra, trig and exponentials. So you work from left to right and the first one you find in this list is your u, the other one is v. Okay, so let's start uh, with an example here. So uh, integrate x e to the minus x dx. Okay, so um, what I do is I go through my Li8 uh, formula or uh, acronym and I see do I have a log? No. Do I have an inverse trig? No. Do I have some basic algebra? Yes. I have x. That's my basic algebra and it, it, it's usually it's the u is going to be the one that is easier to uh, simplify when you differentiate it. Okay so what we do is we say u is equal to x. Okay so that's u and then the rest of it Okay, including the dx, that's dv. Okay, so we say dv is equal to e to the minus x dx. Okay, so we then want to get du. Okay, so we differentiate x, you get 1. Remember when we usually differentiate it, it'd be du dx. Well, we can actually get that dx and, and multiply across by dx and write it up here. And that's important, okay? It's it's much it's we need to have it up here for the formula. So du is equal to one dx and dv we want to get v. Well, in order to get v, what we do is we integrate. So when we integrate e to the minus x, you can go and have a look at your log tables. Uh, to integrate e to the minus x, what you get is minus e to the minus x. So now we have uh, du and we have v and we can use integration by parts now. So now our integral is equal to u which is x times v which is minus e to the minus x so I'll put the minus out in front, e to the minus x, minus the integral of v, which is minus e to the minus x. Now the minus I can take out front, and minus by minus is a plus, so that's e to the minus x. Remember, minus is just a minus 1, which is a constant, so you can take that out front. Uh, so that's v, and then times du, and this is where this dx is important now. So du is 1 dx. You can forget about the 1, it's just dx. And now you have a look. Is 
the integration that I have now easier than what I started with. Well, I started with integrating x e to the minus x. Now all I have is e to the minus x. This is not an integral. This is already integrated. So that's equal to minus x e to the minus x. And then if I integrate e to the minus x, well, I've already done that. It's minus e to the minus x. And then just remember that this is an indefinite integral. So we have to tack on our plus c as well. Okay, that's example one. So example two, uh, I'm going to do one now that has uh, the integral of x times 5 to the power of x dx. Okay, so we go and have a look at ly8. Okay, logs, no. Uh, inverse trig, no. Algebra, yes, it's the x. Anytime you have just a normal x, it's going to be your u, uh, because when you differentiate x, you get 1. So u is equal to x, that means du is equal to 1 dx, and then dv, so that's u, and then dv is the rest of it, dv is equal to 5 to the power of x dx. So then if I want to get v, I integrate integrate 5 to the power of x, you can go to your log tables um, and you find a to the x integrated is a to the x over log a. So that will be 5 to the power of x over the natural log of 5. So now I can go back to my formula for uh, integration by parts. So it's u, which is x, v which is 5 so times uh, 5 to the x over natural log of uh, 5 minus the integral of v which is 5 to the power of x over natural log of 5 du which is dx now at first glance, this doesn't look any easier, but remember when we integrate, we can take any constant outside of the integral sign and ln of five, natural log of five is a constant. So that'd be one over natural log of five that I can take out. So that gives me x times uh, five to the power of x over natural log of five minus one over natural log of five times the integral of 5 to the power of x dx. Now I can integrate 5 to the power of x dx. In fact, I've already done it up here when I went from dv to v. So that's equal to x, um, I can maybe write that as x times 5 to the x over natural log of 5 minus 1 over natural log of 5 times 5 over natural, sorry, 5 to the x over uh, natural log of 5, ln of 5. And then to tidy it up a little bit more, that'll be x times 5 to the x over natural log of 5 minus 5 to the power of x over natural log of 5 squared. And don't forget, we need to have a plus C in there because it's an indefinite integral. OK, so um, let's go and have a look at another example. So uh, the next example I have is uh, the integral of uh, x sine x dx. OK, so we go and have a look at Ly8. So logs, no. Inverse trig, no. Algebra, yes, there's my algebra. So u is equal to x. du is equal to 1 dx. Then dv is equal to sine x dx. v then, integrate sine x. Go to your log tables, page 26. When you integrate sine x, you get 
minus cosine x. Okay, then we can bring this into our formula. So it's u times v, so that's x times minus cos x minus the integral of v, which is minus cos x. Again, I'm going to bring the minus outside. Minus by minus is a plus cos x du, which is dx. So have I made my integration simpler? I have. I've gone from x sine x to just cos x. So that's equal to x by minus cos x is minus x cos x. And then integrate uh, cos x, you get sine x. And don't forget about your plus c. All right, let's uh, have a look at uh, one more example then. Um, so this is the integral of x cubed natural log of x dx. Now, let's go and have a look at um, Li8. So logs, do I have any logs? Yes, this one is the log. So in every other example I've had, u has been first, but in this case, logs is the second one, okay? So, you know, it doesn't have to be u the first one, v the second one. So u can be the second part there. So u is equal to ln of x. So du, if we differentiate natural log of x, you get 1 over x dx. So now my dv is the rest of it, which is x cubed dx. Now what do I do? I integrate it, integrate that to get v. If I integrate x cubed, I get x to the 4 over 4. So now I have everything I need for the formula and we'll plug it in and we'll see what happens. So it's u, which is ln x, times v, which is uh, x to the 4 over 4, uh, minus the integral of v, which is x to the 4 over 4, times du, which is 1 over x, so times 1 over x dx. Now, when I look at this, it doesn't look any easier than this one here, but let's see if we can make it simpler um, and kind of bring it down a bit and see if anything cancels out or if there's any constants that we can take outside. So uh, this is equal to log x times x to the 4 over 4. Now, minus the integral, what I can do is I can say that x to the 4 by 1 is x to the 4, and 4 by x is 4x dx. And I can maybe even just take that a little bit further and just say that that's equal to the integral of a quarter times x to the 4 over x, which again, making it even simpler, is equal to a quarter times the integral of x to the 4 over x is x cubed. So now I have ln of x times x to the 4 over 4 minus a quarter times the integral of x cubed dx. So I started out with this, which looked very tricky, but now all I'm doing is integrating x cubed, which we should be able to do, no problem. So that's equal to ln of x times x to the 4 over 4 minus a quarter times the integral of x cubed is x to the 4 over 4. And don't forget about your plus c because it's an indefinite integral. And then just to tidy up one last line, uh, ln of x times x to the 4 over 4 minus x to the 4 over 16 plus c. Okay, so uh, that was four different examples uh, there uh, shown using different things. So there was logs, exponentials, trigs. Um, and just remember as well for the leave insert that 
they won't and they can't just give you a question like that saying go integrate that they have to build a question in such a way that you'll be doing this stuff um first without using the integration by parts formula at all and then they'll somehow get you to put it together and um, so fairly unlikely that you'll get a question like this on the leave insert but it's definitely not impossible okay so look thanks for watching if you have any questions about it um, just ask in the comments below um, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video